What up, SV Fight Club? It's Jay Speck. Um, I just wanted to make a little short video. Um, I heard on Friday, uh, I know a lot of discussions were going on about different stuff with this game and other stuff. And, you know, I was playing, so I didn't get to say too much. But I, I know the one thing I heard, and I've heard for a while, is like, you know, us saying how, like, grabs in this game are broken or, like, super good or whatever. And, you know, I just wanted to make a little quick video on what I do to try to get around it or reduce it, you know, mitigate getting hit or caught by it. So basically, the person that made me come in here and do this, and he can take full credit, is freaking West Food. Because, my goodness, when we would play West, it was like Trini would be over here in the corner, and like you get, let me see if I can set it up. So, like, Let's see if I can swap strike. Okay, and this would happen. This right here, and then it would go into that full combo she has, right? What that she had pre-patch. I don't know if she can still do it. So basically, I'm like, yo, how am I always getting caught by this or whatever? So literally what I did is I came in here in the lab. You know, I put Trini on recording and do I just sat here and just spam grab right just over and over and over and over and over just to see like are you doomed like are you always gonna get grabbed or whatever so then I learned like once I play it back you can just jump out of it and never get grabbed so I learned when I came in on West on incoming all I had to do really is just hold north on the joystick and you know what? I'll never be in that situation ever again. You can stay over here in the corner. You can keep doing that. You know, it just, you won't get grabbed. So, that was one thing I learned from playing West, <laughs> was that. And then, you know, I guess, but the biggest thing, I think what most people are really trying to say is, the fact that grabs recover so fast in this game is, is really not so much like the range to me. You know, that's not a big deal. It's literally just the freaking recovery on it. It's so good. Like, if you know they're going to grab and you jump, you don't have enough time to get to the ground really to punish it. I mean, I think some characters do, you know. I could be misspeaking, but the way I see it is that's, that's what happens. So, I just wanted to show that as a way to, like, get around someone. I won't say someone that spams grabs, but to, you know, get out of that situation. Um, however, what can happen to you if you're doing this, let's see if I can put them on, um, let's see if I can just record jumping like I was doing, right? I think this will work, what I'm about to do. So, if they're doing that, I think if they're jumping, like, oh, I, okay, I'm not going to be able to grab her, right? But, I can do that. So, you can hit them out of, out of doing that, or you can... EX, I think. Well, yeah, so you EX them out of that as well. So, I notice, like, when we play a lot, like, on Wake Up, you know, say, like, I don't know if Zade knows, like, RJ's EX is just really good, you know, but he'll wake up EX, and I think he does that because, man, you're gonna beat this option a hit, you're going to beat that, and you're going to beat a grab, you know, which either way, like, you're going to get rewarded for getting a hit or getting a grab, you know, with most characters, you're going to lead into a big damage, so doing an EX on Wake Up is a really good decision because you're covering two of the three options they have, because they're either going to hit you, they're either going to grab you, or they're going to jump, right, or, you know, you, you know, there's other ways around that, but those are about the three most common, so... Wake up EX is usually a pretty good a pretty good option since you're covering the two ground options, right? But yeah, obviously if they neutral jump that, you know, depending on what character you are, maybe you can get over it, maybe you can't, but you know, you could get blown up. Um, so that's what I wanted to uh, just make this little clip about showing like how grabs are and like how to get around that, you know. Like I said, I don't even think you can time it right. I'm like literally you just have to hold up. And like it won't happen um you know you guys may see me doing this sometimes in a match against you know someone and if you do that's what i'm doing because i don't want to get grabbed and i feel that's what's gonna happen <laughs>
<laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll have to go back and try to listen to some of the other things you guys were talking about or questions or whatever. I don't know a whole lot about this game, but all I know is when I was losing to Wes, I was mostly getting grabbed, thrown into the corner for full damage, and I'm just like, yo, there's got to be a way around this. So that's what I had to go in there and find and look for. But, um, yeah, just wanted to make this clip. Hope that helps some people out. You know, yeah, there are more mind games to be played and stuff like that, but, you know, that's that's always going to be the struggle with any game. But in this game, yeah, the recovery is super good, but, you know, that's one way to try to get out, get out of that situation altogether. Um, but just wanted to make that little video, you know, went a little longer than I wanted to, but hopefully it helps some of you guys out. And, you know, if I can find anything else that may be helpful to anyone, I'll try to make a quick video about it and put it out there but all right appreciate you guys for watching listening and all the above catch you guys later peace